So we came down here at seven o'clock for breakfast. Coffee and tea. We're not we're not having this for breakfast. We're having this for breakfast. Morning Tom. Good morning, Tom. Steve. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, Healthy yeah. Irish breakfast. Always. <laughs> and here's all the goodies over here. This is excellent sausage. This is blood sausage. That is made with blood. Hash browns. Bacon. Look at that healthy. That's really substantial bacon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, just to give you an idea of what we're doing here, we landed in Dublin yesterday and drove across Central Ireland to Athlone for lunch and then to Clonmacnoise, which is from a monastery started in the 500s. Then we stayed in Galway for dinner and uh, sleeping, and then we're going up today to Knock. This is a shrine, Marian, but it's really a Eucharistic shrine. Coming back to Galway for the night, then we're going to stop the next day and see Bunratty Castle, go to Limerick, Adair, finally end up past Kilkenny and Sneem. Sneem is where we're going to spend the night in a beautiful hotel. The next day we're going to do the Ring of Kerry, drive around this beautiful area. The next day we're going to go to Blarney Castle in Cork, up to Cashel, St. Patrick, and Clonmel, Kilkenny, Glendalo, and finally back to Dublin. That's an overview. Nice. I'll explain a little bit of the whole biblical aspect of it, and then we'll have um, the guides talk about the, the history and the whole story of how it happened. We'll have mass there, and uh, it's going to be a great day. And then back down to uh, Galway, where we'll have a tour of Galway, and it's our free time. Everybody enjoy Galway. So I'm going to ask the good deacon to lead us in prayer and get the day started. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of one more day together. We ask your blessing upon us as we travel, and we ask that we may be open to your spirit moving within us this day. We make this prayer in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Turn it into a homily. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Deacon Tom. <laughs> he asked me if he has the option for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you look a lot better today than you did yesterday. I have to admit. Glad you helped everybody get a good night's sleep. And yes. you look it's amazing what a good night's sleep can do. Yeah. What a refreshing that is. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of the apparitions. We've been to La Salette and Lourdes and Fatima and Guadalupe and all these, but uh, this one is my favorite. I have to say this is my favorite one because it's so complex and there's so many different elements to it and it's right straight out of the Bible, every little aspect of it. Each element, it's relationship to each other too. It's really, it's really quite fascinating. So, looking forward to that. Here you go. modern basilica built here at Knock. This is the old country church that was here 139 years ago. This is where the apparition took place. This was the front of the church. The apparition took place on the other side, which I'll show you in a minute. And then after the apparition, they built on a whole section even beyond this to house all the people to come and have mass at the site. So I'm going to go inside the old church and show you inside. 
and then we'll go to the other side and show you where the apparition took place. We were just on the other side, seeing the front of the old church and inside of that old church. Now you can see the steeple, so we're on the back side of it now. And this is where the apparition took place. You can see the images there. It was on the back side of the church. And, uh, oops. and then they, because the apparition was here on the back wall of the ancient church, old church, then they built all of this now to house pilgrims who come and they want to have mass facing the apparition where it was. And I'm gonna explain all about the apparition after mass. And then here are the grounds. Beautiful grounds here at Our Lady of Knock. Everybody's got an hour here to go to the gift shop, see the basilica, wander around, and then we're gonna have mass right there in front of that apparition. That's where we're gonna have mass in a few moments, and I'm gonna give my talk, but here is a piece of the old southern wall of the church. People come here to touch this because the apparition took place right in front of those stones, right there, part of the original wall. So we're now prepared for Mass at the very site of the apparition. You see the angels are on the cross and the altar with the Lamb of God. And on the left you see Joseph and Mary and St. John the Apostle. And then the Mass begins. After Mass in front of the apparition, I gave my talk on what the apparition means. It's all from the book of Revelation, very much related to John and Mary and the Lamb, which is central. So I gave a separate talk on that, and you can watch it on a movie with uh, today's blog. After my talk on this apparition, our folks are coming up and touching a section of the wall there, the original south side of the Gable Church, and uh, asking for the prayers asking for uh, blessings from Our Lady and Our Lord and the, the Lamb. So to me it came a court in light and favors far to win, but could give me the greatest pleasure if you never did call again. What would I do when I go walking, walking out in the morning too? What would I do when I go walking, walking out with a lad like you? Ready at a two dum two dum two dum, ready at a two dum two dum day. Ready at a two dum two dum two dum, ready at a two dum two dum day. restaurant there, Pokon Pub on the right, this yellow building. We're coming into Air Square, should be called <laughs> JFK Square, but that never really cut on as well. Downtown Galway, getting ready for our walking tour through the city and down to the cathedral. This is where half of our group is staying, the Imperial Hotel. And it's Nice place in the center of town, and uh, we've enjoyed staying here. It's got a nice pub restaurant attached to it as well. Oh, that would be cool. 
outside Trinity College when we get to Dublin. Coming from the Norman De Burgo, D E B U R G O. That was the strong band of Normans that ended up here. We're starting our tour of Galway. We have two different groups that were touring Galway. The death penalty has to be carried out. Come on, what's coming? Who did the job? His father. His father. Wow. His, father had him in, his father had him imprisoned in the house, upstairs, and when they couldn't get a hangman, he made a rope of the sheets with the help of somebody, and he hung him, we are told, from this window. Now the window was, was broad here, we are told, that this is not the actual spot. But ever since, it's called the Lynch window. And of course, Galway people, let me tell you, this is where the word lynching started, of course. Like hell, it started in your country, somewhere in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> said, well, why don't you let him guy come over for a couple of months? That was carried. Now, this is, there are different stories, so this I'm giving you my version of it. That's the true version. I only give the true version. <laughs> After the tour, everybody had the rest of the day free for dinner and pubs. Janet and I picked this one. Uh, they all have marvelous menus, the best food everywhere. Irish is, has great food. Here's a seafood chowder, which we love. And everybody spent the rest of the day walking through Galway, having a beer, seeing each other, splitting up. There's Father Conlon. And we had um, met people all over the place as we were walking around. Great time. People just get to see the city and enjoy it and even buy sweaters. Their wives are in buying sweaters. I don't think we're buying sweaters. Walking in the streets of Galway. White trash you never know who you're going to find these folks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Asking me directions as though I live here. We went up into the area he was talking about and we met this really old man just kind of sitting down on a stone uh, in the sunshine, beautiful Sunday yeah. afternoon. You're right beside it. He said, just go around the corner and you'll see. And he found, he found his... Um, he found his uh, ancestor's grave. Wow, oh, that's yeah. interesting. Here's our Arches Hotel. And here's our group coming in off the bus. Bus number two. Excuse me. Sure. So the group's coming back after walking all around Galway. How'd you do, Tom? Did well. How'd you like Knock? Oh, Knock was amazing. Absolutely wonderful. I enjoyed, I enjoyed your talk. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed giving it. <laughs> There's one with a new baby sweater. Yeah. Did, you, did we lose Father Conlon? Or oh, did he did, he, don't worry, he'll take a taxi. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> he knows Ireland. And there's the rest coming up. Hey, Terry, did you have a good time in Galway? Absolutely. A lot of fun. There's Dennis, our driver. All good? All good. Jim, can you grab my green bag right there? Or black bag? And we're coming back for the night, and after tomorrow morning, we're going to head down south and go towards Steen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Me too? Oh, yeah, go ahead.